So good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for inviting me to this symposium. And on behalf of Professor Sawa, I would like to talk our experience about cardiac, cardiac regenerative therapy with cell seed technique. And Elba, the heart transplantation plays a pivotal role in the treatment of heart failure. Now, of course, it's golden standard for the treatment of heart failure. And however, in Japan, uh, due to serious shortage of donor heart, our uh, waiting time is over five years. In addition, uh, destination therapy is not covered by national health insurance. So as an alt alternative or a complement treatment, and regenerative therapy is required. So <coughs> uh, since cell transplantation therapy into impaired heart has been widely investigated, and main problem of regenerative therapy is cell source. And there are many uh, candidates for cell sources, such as bone marrow cells, and endothelial cells, and cardiac stem cells. However, in this field, uh, no therapy was approved as commercially available level. And uh, as you know, the first randomized study of myobar cell transplantation by injection technique named Magic Trial by Dr. Menachet, and his next speaker, and uh, However, this study demonstrated the known advantage of myobarous cells and the early arrhythmic event. And the standard, standard method of cell delivery a direct injection or intracoronary injection. And however, such traditional method has some disadvantage, including the loss of implanted cells and localized the area of treatment and lethal arrhythmias. And uh, we these arrhythmias may be caused by the uh, damage of the myocardium and the reentry. So to overcome this disadvantage, we developed the cell seed technique by using temperature responsive dishes. The surface of this dish is covered by uh, special polymers and decreasing the temperature uh, less than 32 uh, degrees Celsius, the surface changes from hydrophobic to uh, hydrophreic and uh, cultured cells are detached and as a scaffold-free cell seed. So comparing the enzymatic proteolysis, the major advantage of this uh, method is preserve the protein expression and, and the cellular matrix. And in addition, more advantage of this scaffold-free cell seed, uh, lower loss of uh, cell uh, implanted cells and less damage for host heart and implantable for global areas. So for using this technique, uh, we can make a uh, tissue engineering cardiac graft by multi-layered cell seed. Of course, it is not the myobarous cells, and it is a fetal uh, cardiac cells. And we can preserve the functionality of cells by uh, this cell seed technique. So we have probed the pro priority of cell seed method comparing to injection technique using rat ischemic models. Uh, this study showed that cardiac function was significantly improved and arrhythmic event was significantly decreased by seed treatment. So even the same number of the same myobarous cells caused a completely different uh, result due to techniques of cell uh, implant techniques. So we launched a translational research to enhance cardiac regeneration by autologous skeletal myobarous tra transplantation. And this is the same protocol in large animal model and canine DCA models. And of course, no lethal arrhythmias have been detected. So according to this research, the major advantage of this method is to preserve functionality of the cells after transplantation, uh, which maximizes the paracrine effect, such as cytokine-mediated angiogenesis and antifibrosis over migration of stem cells in the heart, which result in functional recovery of heart. So uh, here's the first case of myobar cell seed transplantation, and he is waiting for heart transplant and uh, an extracorporeal airbus support. And he underwent airbus support, uh, uh, he underwent myobar cell seed implantation about 10 years ago. And uh, after receiving uh, this uh, cell seed uh, implantation, his cardiac function was significantly improved like this. And uh, fortunately, after six months after this treatment, uh, he successfully weaned off the airbud. And now, uh, 10 years after the, this treatment, he is still alive and no recurrence of heart failure. And this is uh, eight years after the treatment. So 
And now we have implanted myobra cell seat for 50 patients with cardiomyopathy. And uh, we already published our result of phase one clinical trial last year, and especially in ischemic cardiomyopathy, the cardiac function was significantly improved by this cell seat treatment. So, and of course, no risk arrhythmia have been detected. And here we present the case of young lady with ischemic, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, we present a case of a young lady with ischemic cardiomyopathy treated by myobra cell seat. Uh, she was 22 years old already and suffered from acute myocardial infarction and admitted to the hospital. At that time, she can't walk and can't stand up even a few minutes and considered as a candidate of a heart transplantation. However, he is young and he don't want to have the airbag support and of course he don't, she don't want to uh, have the heart transplantation. And she only hoped to uh, spend a normal life like uh, going for shopping and traveling and outside, go outside. So we indicated the, how and the, this myobacerase treatment. And we opened the chest through the fifth intercostal space under general anesthesia and IV support. And uh, next one. After dissecting, uh, we exposed the surface of the heart and we checked the LEDs. And the uh, cell seat was implanted. Uh, this is the cell, uh, my cell seat. And we implanted the cell seat at anterior and lateral surface of the heart. And approximately five to six cell seats were implanted. And after implantation, uh, we fixed the seat with such fibrin glues. So, and after the treatment, uh, her BNP level was significantly decreased and, and the post, uh, three years after this treatment, uh, he, her, her BNP level is normalized. And according to cardiac function, uh, her cardiac function was significantly improved and the ejection fraction was improved from 40% to 33%. And this is three years after the treatment. Uh, she became 24 years old. And you can see she looks uh, healthy and fully recovered without heart failure symptoms. And I know that uh, this, is, this is a champion case, but my cell seat has a great potential for treating patient. So by the way, uh, in Japan, a government introducing the expedited approval system, a traditional pathway like this we must conduct clinical research and clinical trial and for confirm confirmation of efficacy and safety. And re it requires enormous time and money for approval. So uh, this new pathway for regenerative medical product, we only conduct the clinical trial only for confirm the safety and predicted and likely efficacy. And after authorization, we confirm the efficacy and safety with post-marketing registry. So it leads uh, to early access and make benefit for both developer and patient. So using this pathway, we conducted in the phase two clinical trial of my cell seat for ICM patient. And uh, this is a my cell seat named Heart Seat by Thermos, Thermos Company. And uh, it was approved in 2015. And so this cell seat was commercially available and fully covered by national health insurance. So the next step is uh, IPS cells. We already reported the first proof of concept study of IPS cell seat uh, for treating the ischemic cardiomyopathy in porcelain model. And this is the IPS derived, uh, this is IPS derived cardiomyocyte seat. And of course it is new uh, beating. So furthermore, in porcelain ischemic model, IPS-derived uh, cardiomyocyte seat therapy uh, showed significantly improved the cardiac function and the myobra cell seat. So treating with this uh, new seat technique uh, enables us to combine both cytokine therapy and myocardium replacement therapy. From this, uh, uh, for treating heart failure with uh, IPS cells, a large amount of cells are needed and so we launched this bioreactor system and which enables us for culture and differentiate a large amount of iPS cell into cardiac cells simultaneously. 
So we can get uh, uh, about 100,000 cells and uh, purity of 90%. So uh, this is our iPS derived cardiac cell seat. So you can see contraction of seat is easy, easily visible to the naked eye. And uh, we embedded the transportation devices and uh, we can keep the quality of cells for seven days and bring seed to everywhere in the world. And uh, this is me, and uh, I bring this uh, seed from Japan to UAE and bring back to Japan. And uh, during the whole days, the seed is beating. So uh, here shows our protocol. And we use GMP grade iPS cells from Kyoto University and then culture and differentiate what's done in our university by a bioreactor system. And frozen stock was stored in master cell bank. And at the time of operation, uh, we make the allogenic cell seat and implant it to the uh, suitable patient. So we have submitted a protocol of IPS derived, ca derived cardiac cell seat uh, to the special committee for re uh, regenerative medicine. And fortunately, this way, uh, they approved our protocol so this year, we can move on the first in human trial of, of iPS cell-derived cardiomyocyte. So the market size of the regenerative medicine is estimated to be to 25 billion yen in the domestic market and reach to 380 billion in the world market in 2050. So only for clinical application, allogenic cell is uh, enough. However, in terms of industrialization, use of allogenic cell and some breakthrough is mandatory. Uh, we believe that iPS cell and cell seed technique and new uh, regression are the uh, breakthrough for new era in regenerative therapy. So uh, this is our colleague and we collaborate with many Japanese university and Japanese government and try to conquer the heart failure and help patient as all Japan team. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. We have time for a couple questions. Uh, Thank you. Are those uh, myoblasts still need to try? Are those myoblasts uh, allogenic or from the same patient? Do they survive? Do you have any biopsy test? Uh, you, you, you mean uh, uh, myoblast cell seat is uh, uh, Otoroga cell seat, not the allogenic one, because the allogenic is very uh, strong uh, rejection. So we don't use the allogenic myobra cell seat. So we only use the Otoroga uh, myobra cell seat. Yes, uh, usually uh, the, our cell seat technique preserves the functionality of the cells and uh, some uh, extracellular matrix was preserved. So usually in three or six months they are survived at, at the surface of the heart. However, it was uh, disappeared after the six months. So, uh, Dr. Moon, thank you so much. Uh, travel all the way from Japan to here to give thank this talk. Much. And uh, uh, that's very impressive that uh, uh, you save life with the new technology already. Um, of course, uh, you are surgeons, you don't examine the mechanisms like most of the people here. Yeah. Um, but we still want to know uh, why and how the myoblast uh, help a uh, recipient heart. Um, and, and probably uh, Dr. Manashe can help uh, to talk about the pioneer the therapy. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, now the uh, IPSL, um, you generate these uh, beating muscles in the recipient heart. Um, you said that there's no ischemia or arrhythmia problem. And I wonder if you look carefully, um, because you have a, a tall, spontaneous beating hmm. piece of a tissue in the petri dish. Now you put it in the recipient heart. How they prevent the, how can they um, not have arrhythmia? Probably you can speculate on that also. Thank you very much for your question. And a uh, question for uh, number one. and. Uh, so that uh, myoblast cell seat is a cytokine therapy. So the first, uh, HIF, uh, some uh, low oxygen stimulate uh, activate the HIF-1, HIF and then uh, the some uh, 
basic FGF line, uh, some cytokines and is uh, ex uh, sorry uh, is act activate to the heart, and then the uh, angiogen and fast is very mature, uh, immature uh, microvessel uh, developed, and then some uh, stem cells are forming to the heart tissues. And then such, such a stem cells uh, secrete some, some cytokines. And then such a microvascular become mature. So that, uh, such a, so that this myobrous cell uh, effect was uh, maintained for six, not only the six months, after one year or two years. So pro lo prolonged, uh, prolonged effect was expected. Last question. Yeah, thank you very much. So it's a very different therapy. So that usually on um, uh, latissim doris uh, plasty is, uh, I don't know the detail of that treatment because it's very o old one. So that is the marble cells, it is a cytokine therapy. So as I told, so it's a very different. It's not beating and it's not uh, survived for the one year or two years. It's a cytokine therapy. So it's a, uh, like a medicine. I know the cocktail of the cytokine is effective for heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. I think uh, if you have more questions, I will uh, communicate offline. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. The last talk is uh, from Loco, from Philippe Malaché. He's going to talk about uh, polypotent stem cell in clinics. Is it pointer?